all back with another video. All right, y'all, so one thing I will say that I've been doing a lot is I've been actively going to the gym and trying to eat better. Being consistent going to the gym is something that I feel like it takes time, especially if you're not, you know, a gym girly, which of course, well, y'all may not know that, but I used to be an athlete. So going to the gym and getting into a routine, it's simple in, a, in the aspect of if I go in there, I'm gonna know what I need to do. But it's difficult as far as turning your mindset to actually get up to go to the gym, being more mindful of what you're putting into your body. All of that overall can help you become a better person. So I've been trying to prioritize, which I'm not gonna sit up here and make it seem like I got all this together because I don't. I've been actually taking the Lemmy Per uh, probiotics. They taste so good and I honestly feel like I feel overall just better since I've been taking those. Cause I know having a good probiotic is good to have in your routine in general, but probiotics, let's be realistic. If you have taken probiotics or consistently take them, they are very, very expensive. If you are a lady and you take probiotics, just mention in the comments below some probiotics and just tips that you have that maybe we can help each other. But I definitely have been prioritizing having a good probiotic and my routine, I take it every single morning. I actually look forward to taking those. I'm not gonna lie, they actually taste really, really good. Currently, it is 2.49. We're about to go to the gym, y'all. Y'all about to see me work out for a little bit. So our season is approaching, babe. Thank you, sorry, not sorry. But let's go to the gym, let's go ahead and get this little workout in. She wanted to go to H&M to look at some belts and I was like, why not? Like, I'll just come with you or whatever. So that's what we're about to do. And then after that, I'm going to go to Dollar Tree and pick up some stuff because me and Chris are going to decorate our room and our door for Valentine's Day. We've been into decorating for the holidays and stuff. Uh, we decorated for Christmas. So I'll put a picture of that somewhere on the screen. We decorated for Christmas and we had these little cute little Christmas trees. It was real, real cute. But basically all I'm doing, uh, I'm trying to stick with my plan. I'm trying to make sure that I get everything done that I need to get done. I also have to do some washing today because my laundry is starting to pile up. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that when I get back to my room. Before we start decorating, I'm gonna finish planning out my week and the times that I have for the week and what days I want to be my content days and what days I'm going to post my content. One thing about Frankie, she always say the long way, y'all. I would have been at the mall by now, but that's neither here nor there. So I'm gonna see you guys when we get to the mall and when we're shopping and all that good stuff. This is it, money. It does look better, but H&M is mad expensive. No, they're not. This jean jacket should not be $42. Maybe 20, but $42. Maybe I'm just cheap. Maybe I'm just very cheap, but I just feel like a jean jacket should be $20. $40 for a jean jacket is like overkill to me. It's like everything in here is OD expensive. You want a, a sweatshirt, it's $30. Look at the price tag. 
Okay, that actually isn't that bad. $30 isn't terrible. 90s straight high waist. What pants? Ooh. 55. Because I y'all be thinking I'd be making this up. $55 for these pants. And you can go on Shein and get the same pants for $20. That's my point. Oh, they got a wholesaler rack of jeans. $15. $19. Hmm. Okay, Reco jeans. My problem is when I'm shopping for jeans, I can't find jeans that are long enough for my legs. So it's like, yeah, all of these jeans are on sale, but nine out of 10, they're gonna be entirely too hot water. Long legs, if you understand, you understand. It's like, these are real cute. I want like a, I want like a 90s. Like you know how the pants, like you wearing that thing, sorry, have those. But like you know, like those 90s jeans. That's what I be wanting. But I can't never find like this boyfriend jeans here. Look, what size do you be wearing? Like a six. Oh, so a four is gonna be too small. All right, y'all, so we just left out of Bath & Body Works. Bath & Body Works had nothing. No, they had that, that, I like that. Friend, you said that she liked this sea salt one? Yeah. This place is falling apart. <laughs> like they just don't know what they are doing quite yet. So I'm gonna go back into Bath & Body when they actually have some stuff to show. But we're gonna go into Spencer's right now because I wanna see if I can get another industrial because I believe I've had this for close to a year. And it's time to switch it out because I, I hate this. Oh yeah, let's go into pink. I forgot pink had a $2.99, $3.99 panties. It's only online. We missed it. They had like eight for 20 panties. I, we missed all of the good sales. We're in pink now, y'all. We made a little pit stop. 60% off. That's when you get your good old calculator. I really, I wonder if they'll measure us. Cause I don't know what size I am. I've changed this whole time. I've been saying I was a 34B and I, I feel like I've gotten bigger. Let's see. I don't know. Cause my boob size fluctuates. Cause you know, I'd be working out and you know, when you work out, you get a little smaller. So I don't know. All right, y'all, so I just got back from Dollar Tree and I just ate my Popeyes. I forgot to show y'all, I was hungry, so I just started eating. Um, but me and Chris are about to decorate our room door and she's doing laundry and I'm gonna do my laundry after she's finished. So I'll get back to you guys when I'm about to close out the video. It is currently, I want to say, two days after the last clips of this vlog. But I am sick. Chris is sick. I don't know what happened. Something is going around campus, and I guess we just got a whiff of it or whatever. But my throat hurts so, so bad. I tried to go by the infirmary, but when I tell you, it was like 20 people in the infirmary. Don't mind my background. It's, it's always cluttered and chaotic. But it was so many people in the infirmary. I was like, I'm not going to sit here and wait because I may not even have what they have. I don't want to end up getting sick and catch COVID or whatever, trying to sit in the infirmary to get a note for class. So I emailed my teacher. Luckily, he's aware that there is something going around campus. So he is not really tripping too much, or at least I don't think he is. He said that we'll just talk when I get back and for me to feel better. So that's basically all I'm going to be doing is just resting and trying to get myself back together. I called out of work today, too, because obviously I'm not going to go into work 
screaming and yelling when my throat hurts. I'm just not doing it. You know, the job isn't that important. But it is Monday, January 22nd, 3.32 p.m. I'm going to go ahead and close out this vlog because I need to start editing my other vlog, which that one, I don't, I'm not really sure what I'm going to title it, but it's more of just like shopping. Me and Chris had went shopping for like some essential items that we needed for the dorm. And I just happened to get it one vlog. So I'm not sure what that one will be, but you guys will see that one later on this week. Cause I'm gonna go ahead and start editing that one shortly. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe as always. I will see you guys in the next video.